Hi, this is Zephyr Clark Dahlberg with Miami Dog Training in Miami, Florida. Uh, when we're talking about um, training a puppy on the leash, it's important to know there's lots of different kinds of leashes um, and there's as different kind of collars. Um, a lot of times you see matching sets and that sort of thing. Um, one of the important things, uh, especially with the collars, is that you want to look for a, a flat buckle setup. Um, the flat buckle setup's a little different. Now, now you, you tend to see a lot of plastic clips that slide in and lock in place, like luggage clips. Um, with those ones, you know, if, if something happens and, it gets, and the dog gets caught, they, they tend to break those snaps and they lose their ID. So look at, look at a buckle clip as far as a collar goes, a flat buckle collar. Um, now, when we're first training the puppies on the leash, we want to, you know, first put that collar on and just leave it there for a few days. You're going to see them itching at it and scratching at it. It's just because it's a new thing on them. Um, you know, pretty soon they'll adapt. And once they've adjusted to that, you're going to just let them drag the leash around. You want to get them a nice light leash, um, preferably not a metal or chain, but a, a cotton web leash, um, you know, if they're, if they're going to be somewhat supervised, and just let them drag it around while they play, let them drag it around in the yard, um, you know, let them experience um, time dragging that leash and with that leash on where they're not being controlled right off the bat. But uh, after about a week of that, you know, or a few days, you want to you want to start taking that leash, and it's important that um, you know you start your puppy off in the following process. If 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 you think that it's going to be your dog's walk and that it's all about what the dog wants to do, that dog's just gonna you know he's gonna grow up and be conditioned by you. If you don't get him following you, he's gonna be conditioned to you by you to be out in front. So so once we actually do have the puppy on the leash and we begin our leash training, um, you know, you wanna, you wanna, if the puppy walks out in front of you, you wanna stop and walk in the other direction, that, which again puts the puppy behind you. And uh, you know, depending on how old the puppy is, you may wanna use a, a, a choker or a training collar, but, um, but if it's a real young puppy, you know, just you know, stop when the puppy gets in front of you and walk the opposite direction, never letting them lead the lead or set the pace of the walk.